Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you at the European Open here, 11th of June. What a mess this weekend. Holy shit. I don't know, I don't even know where to start. Uh, obviously, uh, Trump and Trudeau and kindergarten politics, lack of empathy, lack of understanding, I don't know, selfishness, I'm not, I'm not even sure where, where to go with this, uh, I, could, I could do a podcast one hour long on the fact that there's probably no trade deficit in America between Canada and America, especially on the serv if you include the services side and what really is going on with cross-border payments, but that's, this is for another time. Let's go to something that we can trust, which is the charts, so everything else is a mess. Um, Dollar Cat opened above 130 last night, now it's traded back uh, 129.55. The chart says dollar cad lower. Politics obviously say higher, but you had bearish engulfing on very bad Canadian numbers on Friday. Closed well below the low, full engulfing. So we don't have we don't have a dog in this fight. But certainly prices below 129.25 will confirm the left hand side is in play. On the top side, we still like to respect this trend line. It printed exactly on the line at 40 after the number. So if you do think this is going to blow up further, we suggest this be your takeoff point, 130.40. Again, no dog in this fight. Uh, for us, right now, it's middle of the range. And... Uh, we're just going to leave it alone. As far as stocks are concerned, you would think that they would come off a bit. I guess they have kind of just a little bit. Uh, we closed at um, 82. Now we're at 81. It's not really off. U.S. stocks are looks like they're set to make new highs here. But with global tightening on the cards this week, we really do like selling high ones in the stock market. Uh, could you see a move to 2808 or just piercing this high? Of course. It almost seems likely just to catch market participants short. There will be a lot of shorts now because of the political chaos. So keep an eye on this level, 2808. We're going to be testing some shorts on that 28 handle uh, ourselves here, patiently waiting. The Brexit news uh, over the weekend was just absolutely atrocious, terrible. Boris Johnson with his idiot tweets and May, messy May. Um, don't really know what to do with this. The House of Lords is voting again on the Brexit bill. We're mid-range here. We had a move higher on Thursday, a move lower on Friday. Uh not super clear where this is going to go. It looks like the market, the sentiment is definitely negative and the market is definitely on the short side. So on pure FX terms, the risk is on the top side. If you want to use logic, which we don't really like to use in FX too much, uh, you want to be short. Uh, but we will be looking at the top side, especially if we can clear that Thursday high from last week. Dollar Yen's bid, uh, God knows why, I mean you could argue that the Yen is being offered because of possible agreement with North Korea and troops leaving South Korea and yada yada yada, God knows. Uh, what we do know is the Fed's going to raise rates on Wednesday and this is going to create a widening and even wider gap between interest rates in the U.S. and Japan. 
I do like buying dollar yen through one one ten twenty three, the two hundred day moving average. Again, this smacks in the face of this political chaos, but as we've learned from Trump many, many times, like nothing he says is meaningful. Uh, the market tends to shrug it off. And this will catch a lot of the logic players uh, with their pants down. Dollar yen through 110.20. Again, patience is the key here. Dollar yen's been very, very muted recently, low vol. So just be patient. Dollar Swiss, similar type deal. We have all of these highs sort of coalescing here in 98.95, 98.90, You could argue through 99 the figure, dollar Swiss is going to move higher. Obviously the Swiss uh, rejected Welt Gold this weekend. Not even close. Um, you can say what you want about the Swiss. Obviously I have some bias living in this country now for almost two decades. But they're pragmatic and they're not easily confused on issues. They're not easily swayed by marketing and whatever fake news. I think this stands as a very clear example on how sensible the population is here. Anyway, uh, dollar Swiss through 99, the figure on interest rates um, makes a bit of sense for me. We've had a little bit of a move down here. Um, we will be trading that. We will be buying dollar yen through 99, the figure. Euro yen, curiously higher. Uh, we got paid Friday on this, thankfully. Knee jerk now is just to hit a bid, like what are we doing up here with all of this mess in Europe? And But, you know, when you print a low and you this is the opening print 128.60 and you go straight higher into the Monday session usually that means the market's caught short there's going to be more stops above 129.75 can this get below above 130.27 of course it can FX can do whatever it wants and this looks like the painful side no dog in this fight yet but like dollar yen we do. We are now leaning on the contrarian side of buying yen crosses, buying dollar yen. Um, heading into Wednesday, Thursday. Just as a summary of what's going on, we got the Singapore meeting tomorrow. We got UK labor data tomorrow. We have inflation in the UK on Wednesday. US CPI on Tuesday. We obviously have the Fed Wednesday. We have the ECB on Thursday. We have the BOJ Friday morning. It's going to be like 5 a.m. European time, Central European time. Uh, Governor Lowe is speaking from the RBA this week. We've got a lot going on. Very, very busy. We call it just a heavy week. Political and economic releases from the central banks, from Trump. So we're starting out square here. We are being patient. Our bias is for higher dollar yen, but we will remain patient <coughs> and try and get a feel for price action here at the open and then maybe have some more concrete ideas going into New York. Good luck out there, people. We also have a new book today uh, for our book week. This is uh, one of the books recommended by uh, Ray Dalio, who um, you know we see as sort of a role model. It's called The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. Try and plow through this book this week. 52 books in 52 weeks. It's only good for you. It's like eating broccoli. Just do it. Alright guys, 
I will catch you at the New York Open. Ciao.